So today's film is going to be about, we're going to have a tour of my storage solutions. It's come up, um, how do I get so much stuff in a small space without being a hell of a mess? Well, I'm a hell of a mess and I still manage to get a lot of stuff in the same place. We've all got sheds like this with stuff everywhere up against the walls, blah, blah, blah. But I do try as I go along and when I pick stuff up, I try and do things and invent things. So we'll start off with these. Can you see what these are? These are just cabinets, clothes, cabinet things. You'll see a theme of these. I do like them when I can get my hands on them. Obviously, you don't want to buy them at the prices they are, ridiculous prices. I, make the, I take the locks out of them because you're not going to trap one in in a key. So I, I do take the keys out of them. But see, there's one stood here and there's one stood there. And then up above, up next to it, found the middle, put the plank across the top. Again, fixed them and bolted them together. Um, and just done that out of it. Put a bit of a bench level here. What's made this strong and secure is using this board. If you've got the board, get the board and it, it keeps it square because the board is the is the strength of it almost. Otherwise, it would be quite wobbly and insecure. Okay, in an ideal world, you'd fix these back into your wooden building or your brick building. But uh, if you can't do that, and uh, what I've done is I just had the spare concrete. I made a shelf in the back here, which is which is part of this anyway. So ideally, that will continue along there. But everything evolves. Everything moves. You make things with what you land on at the time, what's available and what's a good price, you know. So there's that unit done. And then I came across these, didn't I? I came across these beauties on my, you know. Reggie, I've got these. Oh, right, how many do you want? Well, I'll have loads of them. <laughs> and you just put them on top of each other, you see. So to keep the weight, although I've got weight in them, to keep the weight off them because I wanted storage above them as well. Um, I put these legs to carry this wood. If you put the wood on here, it would deform and twist and bend these. Uh, ideally, I'd like to take the um, take this wood out and put a concrete step, which is one of the jobs I've got to do is square this bottom off and put it on. So these are sitting on, some of them won't move. But so to keep the weight from destroying them, the storage weight on top, I've just put legs in the middle, look. So the weight of them are bypassing these cupboards. So these cupboards are basically just sitting here with their own, under their own, only what's in them. So they're not getting destroyed by the weight. And again, just... If they're small cupboards, put them on top of each other. Makes them a tall cupboard, doesn't it? These, these office ones. I did pick these up for nothing for free. But these are more, you know, sort of bedroom ones, which are quite weak and flimsy. If you can, try and get the, the more sturdy office ones. And again, it makes a nice face. The, the, the back might be crooked, but you just it's the face you're looking at. So that's what I've done with that one. And you'll see a theme on these. I do like, I do like these all the time. I do like them. Yeah, these pull out office drawer things. Hmm, so that's this side done. It's a bit like the greenhouse, you know, uh, if you want to build a brick wall to do something with or to keep something on, well, just get your bricks and mortar out, build yourself a little wall. No big deal, there was a space there. We wanted to do something with that space, so we just bricked all in, yeah. Now here, here's a table, just a simple table, but it's a door. These doors are really good. If you ever want to make work surfaces or whatever on your, this on its own wouldn't be, and it would bow and would go out the way. Get yourself a door out of a skip. Go When somebody's redoing, go and find the biggest, strongest door you've got. Stick four legs on it. Obviously, underneath here is take all the the steel, all the bumpy stuff off, and just stick a board on top of it. Cracking table. These doors make really strong tables. And again here, look, the door opens here. We wanted to do something with this corner. So I just created a brick wall. 
So whether, the, okay, this is in the greenhouse, but it doesn't matter where it is. Um, you can just make whatever suits you, you know. If this was a, a workshop or whatever and you wanted to put hide something in there, you'd put a surface, you could build a brick wall, couldn't you? It doesn't have to be bricky. What's it? And if you ever knew what sort of a mess is up there, but if you keep adding and making it round and tidying it up, you make it look quite tidy. Hmm. So again... If you've got a shed, a brick shed, or with a concrete floor or whatever, and you decide you're going to do something, well, you can. You don't have to use wood or steel. You can just make brick ones, can't you? Make whatever you want. So just on the thing of storage, this isn't here for any particular reason. The only reason it's here is because it was on the floor and in the way. So it happens to be we've made use of it. But again, it was just initially, it was use every bit of tube, take it up in the roof out the way, and it just makes use of it. So again, let's get, so it can be come down, if it has to come down, it has to come down. Obviously, you know, the reason has to be strong enough to say, do you know what, I'm gonna cut this here, I'm gonna use this bit here, and I'm gonna dig that out of there. And I've still got bits and spare pipes and whatever. But it was a way of getting it out of the way on the floor, make use every 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 joint you've got, use it. You might think it's connecting them together. For me, it's just storing them out of the way. Um, so they're not something else out of the way. Very little you can do about inside the the gallery, the, the tent, because you know, flimsy sides, it's, this is only temporary, so you don't want to put nothing permanent in here. So if you've got limited space, um, okay, we've got the wing in here, but this could have been, if you've got a smaller space, but you still want to keep stuff. Well, in my case, I'm keeping jars, but the shelves only need to be as wide as what you want them to be. And because I wanted to see them instantly, I didn't want one hidden behind another. I didn't want them too deep. So just to make use of that wall, and we've used nice big strut because I knew the weight that was coming on here. We used strong bits, you know. Shorter is, you can afford to be a bit thinner. But if you're doing a quite a long span like this, you know it's gonna move, or don't you? Because it's only an outside shed, so you just use, you know, bigger bits of wood, whatever you landed on. As you can see, I haven't made it out of a specific thing. A specific size of wood uh, these are all different bits of wood I've made the shelving out of the wood that I had does this bit fit in there or is that bigger right cut that down that'll go in there so I haven't you know I must use this wood and make all the shelves out of that so we could afford to go a bit wider here so this one again is just simple 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 shelving. you can see it's slightly bowing I, I don't put much weight on here it's just general rubbish. But again, I had the space to come out a little here, so I could afford to make it wider. But of course, it fills full of clutter, where if you make it specifically for exactly what you want to store it for, you don't get a chance to put clutter on there, because half of this stuff wouldn't fit on there. And again, you know, we just... This is just like... we It was an easy way of knowing what's on the shelves A, A, B and C. So this is A and this is B and this is C. Hmm. So here again, look, I got offered, um, you make what you've got fit the, I got offered a whole load of these planks and I knew they were thick so they could take the weight. So um, I can't remember if there was nine or 10 or 11 of them, whatever. Uh, and I thought, great, they'd do great shelves, they would. And of course, the bits that you, that you cut off, you can support them. This is supported from the bottom up. See, these are big, long pieces. When you build a brick wall and then they have pillars, don't they? So we've gone around the pillar here. So we, we had that space to fill, put the wood in and then support the middle. This one. Is supporting that one which is supporting that one so start from the bottom and and fill the gaps in whilst leaving the long ones in that's been that's been a great invention and then of course that's two jars deep come to one jar deep when you go around 
anything behind it. It's, it's about having the front straight, isn't it? It's about having the front straight. So here we go. Again, you talk about having the front straight. These are all different lengths, but it doesn't matter because all you're worried about is getting the front straight. So there might be gaps behind, but uh, you're not gonna go down there. So just make the front, it's, it's as wide as, it's, it's as deep as the deepest cabinet. So some of these cabinets aren't that deep, so you just bring them forward. You know, this one is only this deep. However, this one is quite a bit further deeper. Let's pick another one. <laughs> Let's pick another, that one. So, as you can see, this cabinet's deeper, but the front is just keep everything in the front line. Same, these aren't that deep. But again, look, it's those cupboards turned sideways, put on top of each other. And the odd cupboard here and there. And then the gap you fill in with a piece of wood. So it all looks quite straight and tidy. Hmm? Again, these cupboards again. I must have had a job lot or, you know, yeah, say yes to everything and turn it into shelves. Again, these are these upright cupboards. Take the locks off. Obviously, these are my, um, my jar storage because you just never know what's going to come in next. And again, look, there's a mixture here. We've got one here. We've got one here, different shape. But just make up the shape by putting a wooden block in. It's all about keeping the front, the front fairly, fairly level. Uh, again, just came in this. I had to make, to fit that gap, I had to, you know, cut it down and make it all fit. So these came about because I had the scaffolding. Well, f first of all, I had these, these joint things. Uh, they were much more comfortable to walk around and work with than these. You could make it just out of these, but you're always bumping and catching yourself. So I had these for the corners. So I thought, oh, great, I'll use them. I'll make a nice shelving unit. I, th I think it was wider at first, or did it, was it narrow or narrow at first and then wider? But um, rather than make the wood uh, fit the shelving, I put the shelving to fit the wood. So this is two planks wide. So I knew I could put my two planks in and it's just simply upright and square and the whole, the whole weight of it is holding itself in place. Uh, and there's still it's connected to the bars. I had these T pieces, so I knew I could come up nice and strong from the bottom straight. So you just I had this scaffolding around, so just cut it to the size you want. Keep measuring your bits. Use the bits that you've got that I landed on. I bought the scaffolding for a job. It was cheaper to to buy it um, than what it was to rent it for an indefinite period. You don't know how long you were going to use it for or whatever, so I just bought it. And and you never get your money back when you sell it, especially when you've cut it up for what you want to use it for. So again, just make use of it, turn it into shelves. Now this, this was, uh, I was quite uh, pleased with this. This was the first unit that I made. Uh, and this was open, this didn't have shelves. I've put the shelves in afterwards there. But this was the first unit because I wanted to keep my taps and dies in order, didn't I? Um, and again, it's a scaffolding plank up here, scaffolding plank up there, a surface that I knew this big box was going to sit on, but I knew that was going to be a, some sort of a workbench type thing. This was open, but then we put shelves in there afterwards because there's more and more and more boxes keep arriving. Again, what's making this strong is the square behind it. Look, look at the thickness of the sheet behind it. So it doesn't do, you don't need any joints or nothing like that. The, the, the whole sheet on the back is holding it together because it's all fixed in this way. So that doesn't move or twist or it won't you know, fall over or collapse. So, yeah. And then because I did that, that then gave me the idea, I had still a bit of space here, then that gave me the idea, well, I'll build this one and then 
next and you just build it as you go along if you remember i made a mistake the shelves were too wide so i was wasting too much space so then i came back and then shut all the shelves up again so you only want the shelves to fit what you want to put on there so no point putting a big shelf in and then wasting the space whatever you you've got whatever you want to put on the shelves bear them in mind and make them fit it's the same as the jars here really um plenty of space for the big jars but don't make a shelf for big jars all the way along because you're losing space little ones here little ones there because they're at face height aren't they and then as they come down they get bigger to take the bigger jars and then the bottom i've made so we can fit gallon cans under so whenever whenever i start a shelving upwards i at least put the bottom one into a gallon can so you can always put your gallon cans under the bottom that's the idea and then come up yeah and then fit all your jars whatever yeah because i knew what size jars you know large medium and small and then back up to large up here yeah so that worked okay um again i've uh, used these cupboards again for up here uh, turn them sideways this one is supported it's not sitting on the thing it's just a, a bracket supported up onto this piece of wood here and that's held up there and then only i landed got these made a frame for it to sit in or else otherwise this would be ever so wobbly these things are meant to be in a unit well it didn't have the unit around it the, um these are actually single units so there's one unit there two three four five look these are just units put together and again we know this sort of shelving um i love these these ones with little drawers amazing here I had to build it around uh, the space that I had. So, you know, we put the shelves in, use the tools here. This is that cabling tray, hung me spanners on there, um, hung the, another row of spanners under there. This was my first row of spanners on the wall. So I started with them. And then of course you buy another set, don't you? And then you buy another set. And then you're on Facebook and you think, oh, that's a bargain. I'll buy that set. <laughs> of course, you've got to put them somewhere, haven't you? You've got to put them somewhere. And again, the corner. I wanted to make use of that corner. So I did that there. Um, here, we've stuffed the compressor under that table. It's a little steel table. Fitted in that corner nicely. Again, units on top of each other. You'll see a theme of that going through. I do like, I do like these little drawers because you can keep pretty much all your all your stupid rubbish. Do you know what I mean? You can just pull a drawer out. They're fantastic, and you're not paying the price that they want in these these for these you know these snap-on drawers or you know machine mark drawers and whatever. Just watch for them going out of offices and buildings and in skips because there's a lot of people devalue those don't think they're worth a lot but they are they're fantastic bits of kit and of course i added a shelf on there this these do swell up in the garage these are a bit sticky but again put them on top of each other i think they had like a molded piece around the side knock the molded piece off just make them slot in there and these could just the odd that's come along you do see them now and again just another set of drawers sitting here this is a good steel table i've had this for years and years and years i don't know where i got it from but a good solid steel table to stick your vice on and to be able to hammer around and knock things about and again stick one of them units underneath so i think that's about it we've done the odd shelf that's come along we've done the odd you know sort of playing around making stuff put the put the stereo system up again this is one of the original stereo systems again put it up in the shelf up in the roof out the way so you can yes yeah, it's, it's, and it's great fun whilst you're doing it 
it's moving and chasing. I don't expect anything to come in. I'm at the stage now where I say, rather say yes to everything and then think of a use. I have to say no, because I'm pretty much sorted. But I'm always open to somebody saying, blah, 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 I've got this Reggie, blah, blah, blah. It's a once in a lifetime price. If something like that came along, obviously you'd have to think about it and you'd say, right, out that lot, put that lot in. <laughs> it's an ev It evolves, it grows and it evolves. Again, put shelves in your corners. Always make use of your of your walls. All the walls are full of stuff and all shelved in, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of people who do a lot better job, but um, these have kept my taps and eyes under control, this unit here, and this unit, I'm particularly happy with that. And it's no, um, it's only, it's only that Dexian, cut a strip, screw it in there, screw it in there. Easy and simple to make. Yeah, easy and simple to make as you go along. You just have to keep your eyes open and say yes to everything. Somebody offers you some stuff, some wood, some planks. You might not want it today, but you might use it tomorrow. This was all the wood that I had in the stores. What came first? The wood, then the idea for the shelving. Yeah. But if I hadn't have said yes to the wood, I wouldn't have had the wood to make the shelving. Yeah, so you have to say yes to everything. And then once you've got enough to make a shelf, uh, I had this, made that, then I thought, oh, I've still got some left, I can make some more, so I've still got some in the stores. It's, it's great fun, just, but I'm pretty much, as you can see, I am now pretty much full, <laughs> full, full of rubbish, and I keep meaning to tidy up. I do think to tidy up now and again, but it's such a daunting task, and I get distracted, I go to do one thing, and of course... The car boot, this I blame on the car booting season because now the car booting season is here. It's bye, 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 bye. I don't think I've got no space. I've got everything. I don't need to, uh, I've got no space to put everything. I just buy everything. And then I've got to figure out where to put it. And it arrives in bags. But that's a winter's job, that is. When, it's cut, when the car boots have ended, and there's no endless supply of stuff to buy, then um, I'll start sorting it out, maybe. And you all know me by now. Do I spend a Saturday afternoon tidying up? Or do I spend a Saturday afternoon uh, creating some sort of special secret locking device for my door? Hmm. <laughs> there's one there's one in the cook there's one in the cooker at the moment there's an addition to this door coming it's in the cooker at the moment boiling uh, boiling simmering in my head but there's a new idea to add to the door <laughs> yeah. so you yeah, know you'll have to wait with anticipation how am i gonna figure that one out yeah but anyway yeah there's a there's a new idea coming for the door and um Whilst we're here thinking about the door, best idea. This is a great, great idea that we nicked from um, the gumball. Yeah, I really do like my handle now. If you get a chance, pick one of these up, make yourself a handle. You won't regret it. You know, that's a great idea, that is.